My name's John Carter. Uh, I was born in Tripler Army Medical Center, Honolulu, Hawaii. My dad was stationed at Pearl Harbor. After I was born, my pop split, so my mom raised me, you know, solo parent. I spent about six years on the road driving big rigs. Um, ran into some trouble. I had uh, an addiction problem that, that followed me through most of my life. When I had basically no other choice, uh, I ended up in rehab, went through an outpatient program, uh, had to restart my life. I was fortunate enough to get a second chance through Factory OS. Um, I had heard about it through another employee they had here. Uh, he actually, it turned out to be my sponsor. Uh, he got me a sit down with the foreman here, Don Morris. Told me to, you know, give him, give him 30 days clean and sober and, and I would get a sit down. And uh, that was that, that was all the motivation I needed. I work in the materials department as a lift operator. When I first got here, the receiving department, the amount of freight and consumables that comes into the receiving department was awe-inspiring. The amount of freight that it takes to keep these mods going is, is huge. It, it means homes. It, it means housing. And, uh, you know, with the housing crisis the way it is right now, this is a, a very viable option something that goes up faster than anything else goes up, something that's assembled faster than anything else is assembled. It's something that the company itself, what, last two years has been learning how to do this uh, better and better. With this second factory opening up, there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of opportunity. I will be moving to the new factory. It's gonna be state of the art. They're still building as, as we speak. You know, there's, there's racks going in right now. I'm kind of excited. The first time a mod goes down the line is kind of an exciting moment. When I was given the opportunity to start at FOS, of course I jumped all over that, but um, I was riding my bike every morning to and from work eight miles each way. So uh, it takes a toll. And a lot of times I just uh, didn't have it in me. Didn't have you know the energy to make it through the whole week like that. And my crew in the materials department, they could see that. So they pulled it together and you know everybody in my materials department from all the way up to the owner's wife. Everybody wanted to make sure that I, I got to and from work. They pitched in. And of course, as soon as I had opened it up and seen the, the electric bike, you know, my jaw dropped, my heart stopped. Like, I had to like, take the bike and kind of kind of go away. Like, I, I couldn't shed a tear in front of everybody, so I had to walk away a little bit. 